Really big things are happening and I'm slightly scared for these big things, but it's so necessary because I'm looking at life through a lens of metaf a metaphor, mm -hmm. and that is it's fall. The leaves are shedding. Why? Because if the trees keep the leaves, the trees will be expending too much energy and then die. So they need to get rid of what is no longer serving them and conserve themselves for what is staying true to themselves, the trees. And because the trees are doing that, I'm doing it as well. We're saying goodbye to the blonde. I always have to adjust things for my slouch posture. Can't assume I'd be too good. No, it's gonna be like this. A little lower. So what has led me to decide to get rid of my signature look? It's a few things. One, yeah, my brain is becoming simple. I questioned and doubted adults as a kid and how they wear the same monotone colors, sit around and talk and eat food, how horrendously boring. Like, excuse me, you, no. Um, well, yes, because I like boring because it's simple and it conserves my energy. And the factory <clears throat> has conveniently begun. It's production, but I persevere because I am learning that my outside surroundings do not influence, well, as long as I'm aware don't have to influence my inside turnings. And now I've lost my train of thought. Goodness. <sighs> oh yeah, so one, I'm now lazier. I don't wanna do the upkeep. I don't wanna have to tone it when it looks a little yellow. Two, whenever I'm out and about, I get this compliment almost every single time I'm out and having a conversation with a new person. Oh my gosh. You look like Billie Eilish. You remind me of Billie Eilish. Totally understandable. Shaggy, blonde hair, maybe something about our features are somewhat similar. I'm not sure, but I'm my own person. I actually don't care, but I'm just gonna say that for the sake of it, I'm my own person. Three, I do not identify with the blonde feels anymore. I'm gonna do my makeup blonde time. I'm, let's, be, let's be productive here, Anya. Let's do the things. I have attached my personality to having blonde hair my entire life. I grew up thinking I was a blonde. Here are some photos actually, and looking back, that wasn't too blonde, but I did convince myself. And you know what? The world is not the world. The world is how we see the world. And how, well, how I saw the world was me having blonde hair. So even if I wasn't, I was, because that's what I convinced myself. And a big reason I hold on to the blonde hair is if I am in a social setting, you can be... Who this? Hello? Hi. I'm good, how are you doing? Okay, yeah, that's no problem. I'm so sorry to hear that. No, that's totally fine. All right. Bye. Well, I guess I'm not getting my hair dyed today. What is this? Maybe this is a sign from the universe I need to stay a blonde. No, I don't want to be blonde anymore. Okay, what I was saying though is like being picked out in the crowd. Like, I'm the blonde. You're gonna notice the platinum blonde. Hello. 80% um, of people have brown hair. I am too egoistic to be a part of 80%. But then, now I'm not. I let me be a part of the 80%, let me blend into the background, let me not be seen, let me mind my own business. I don't want to people, s I don't know, I don't want to be noticed, but, but I guess I'm not getting my hair done today. Damn. Ugh. So what am I doing today? So reschedule an appointment. I need this ASAP, like this is, look at this. Let's look on the internet. Well, 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 we have some obligations before we go on the internet. Um, obviously I am from the future because I'm hiding my hair, but you know who's not hiding things? Ritual. Thanks Ritual for sponsoring today's video. What's Ritual you might ask? Well, <laughs> I have the answer. Ritual is supplements delivered to your door once a month, but of course not just any supplements. There's no fillers, colorants, or shady additives going in the capsules, so you know exactly what is going into your precious little body. Transparency is at the core of everything Ritual does. They literally tell you exactly where the minerals are sourced. That is so cool. They're easy to take capsules, provide nine nutrients from D3 to omega-3s. There are so many supplements out there, it can be so hard to know what you should be taking. So thankfully Ritual decluttered the multivitamin, making sure that their nutrients are the ones that are hard to get in your diet because even with a super well-balanced diet, it can be hard to get enough nutrients. So I take 
the essential for women multivitamin. Not only that, but they're also vegan friendly, sugar free, non-GMO, gluten free, allergen free. They also offer a men's multivitamin, prenatal, postnatal, 50 plus, and teen vitamins. Virtual is offering 10% off your first three months by using the link in my description and using the code Anya when you check out. Yes, that is Anya, A-N-J-A. -A. People still spell my name with a Y. I don't know where they got the Y from. A-N-J-A. -A. All right, back to the podcast. It's Halloween this week. No, I cannot have these grown-up roots during Halloween. That just kind of sounds petty. But this does not look good. Why am I freaking out? What is this? What is this overreaction of the situation? Really, what is at hand here? It's hair. It's thin strands of dead cells on my head that are just looking a little weird at the time being. That's all it is. Ugh. So I'm gonna call them. Yeah, this is just call. It's easier. Nothing. I also do have hair stuff myself. If I'm really so desperate. No. Do I just stay blonde? Do I just now fill in my roots? And, oh no, I am so, I am not a blonde. This is abandoning my insides. Hi, I'm calling to make an appointment to dye my hair. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Bye. All right, so I made an appointment to get an all over tint at a different um, location. Good morning. What do you think about the makeup? I tried something a little bit new. Today's the official day of getting my hair dyed brown. We're saying goodbye to this life of mine and I'm so excited! As per usual, I have a tradition of going to the cafe down the street and sitting there and sketching or journaling. And as of yesterday, we are all now friends because I was chilling outside on the curb like past time of them closing. And they were all having a little conversation. I was like, okay, wait, maybe I should try to like become a part of the conversation. But then I extended this anticipation of making some sort of remark or response too long and then it became more awkward in my mind even though I'm just like sitting there scribbling so then I more intensely scribbled so that it didn't seem like I was having these thoughts to them of wanting to be a part of it so I was just like okay I'm fine scribbling because I was fine scribbling but then I left and I was like okay bye and they all seemed really stoned they're like oh, bye and they're like oh and then I was like oh and then we had like a little conversation and I was like oh ah, see you tomorrow and they're like yep same time and I was like yep so gotta go there um, After the cafe, off I went to change my hair and, well, quite frankly, my life. I somehow showed up early and that never happened, so I meandered throughout the building until it was time. We picked out the color, washed my hair, and began the process. I was thrilled, but terribly uneasy, because after all, part of my identity is being stripped away, for better or worse. Once I leave the establishment, I take a few attempted self-redeeming selfies, but these don't work, and it settles in. I miss the blonde. Okay, I'm about to show the roomies the new hair, get their honest responses. Guys. <gasps> I know. Oh my god. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, you uh, your mom. I know. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm not a fan. I miss blonde Anya. I didn't think this was an impulsive decision because I had been thinking about it for months. And it was just a bad decision. Don't leave me, please. I'm feeling really insecure that everyone's gonna leave me because everyone loves Blonde Anya more because I love Blonde Anya more. I don't know what this is. This is a midlife crisis. Who is that? I look like I'm 50. And that's fine. I'm just not 50. Like, I'm fine looking 50 when I'm 50. But I'm not 50. No. I'm gonna shower again so that it dries with some curls. But not all hope is lost. I've got a haircut. So off I go again. Snippity, snippity, snip, snip, snip. And here's the final result. So here's the final result. It took a few days to recognize myself and would freak me out when I'd see my reflection in a building and also when I'd realize that people aren't perceiving me as a blonde but as a brunette because my mental image has been blonde human person looking at blonde human for so long and it is no longer so. Yes, my ego has gone through a transformation. I have deeply identified my identity with blonde hair. I think this was necessary for me. I am slowly detaching from the way that I look to the way that I feel, 
which is really important. But if I still do want to attach the way that I feel to the way that I look, we could say I'm a more mysterious, edgy, rougher around the edges. Also, life is simpler. I don't have to get touch-ups anymore. When my hair is greasy, it doesn't look quite as greasy, so it can be greasy for longer. I'm gonna get highlights eventually. And I just plan to grow my hair out naturally from here on out. But then there's some days where I decide to shave it all off. But I think I would really, really regret that one. A season of change, that's what we're calling it. Okay, toodaloo! Please stick around, because I have deep-rooted my ego and the fact that I have anything partially Maybe, not really, because of the blonde hair. Stick around, please. Okay. I love you. Bye.